Hello and welcome to Editor's Take. The much anticipated change of guard at the Reserve Bank of India is to take place later this week. And with me here is Tamal Bandopadhyay, our Deputy Managing Editor, to discuss the Subarao years at the Reserve Bank of India. So Tamal, uh, your first impressions, Subarao has had a turbulent time from 2008 to 2013. So what are the main uh, takeaways that you see from this era? Well, uh, first is, of course, his struggle for independence. Uh, he has fought, I would say, valiantly with the finance ministry and it came in the open. Now, Reserve Bank of India fighting for autonomy or the so-called independence has not been new. Even during uh, Dr. Reddy's regime, that's Subarao's immediate uh, predecessor, Reddy also fought that. But that not much in the uh, public domain, uh, the, the, his fights, but as far as, and I think that was more on the specific issues, mm -hmm. but Subarao did fight on a larger policy issues, and it's been in the open, be it uh, the constitution of FSDC or uh, the idea of uh, separating debt management from, uh, from Reserve Bank of India, uh, being a part of the government agency or even the FLRC uh, uh, report. Mm. Uh, so on each and every issue, Reserve Subarao has uh, flagged up concerns of Reserve Bank of India in the open. So that's one part of it. Uh, so before you uh, go forward, uh, when Subarao came to the Reserve Bank of India, a lot of people thought he was the finance ministry's man in the Reserve Bank because he was finance secretary during the Red Ditch Adambaram clash. Uh, so, in a way, he confounded his skeptics, right? And he actually stood up for his job as Reserve Bank of India Governor rather than just reflecting the views of the Finance Ministry. That's true, that's true. In fact, you know, uh, for many of the Finance Secretaries in India in the past, it's a logical career progression. Mm -hmm. you know, they come to the uh, main road as RBI Governor. But once you become a part of RBI, the so-called Trojan horse theory does not work. Mm -hmm. Actually, you become your own man. Um, then you become you know, part of Reserve Bank of India and you fight for RBI's rights. Mm. Uh, so that's, uh, it's, uh, he is not the first person to do it, it has mm. been happening around. Talking about his regime, uh, yeah. one part is of course uh, fight with, uh, fight with uh, the Reserve Bank of India. Other part is this, how, how did he do as a governor when it comes to monetary policy. There I would, I would imagine the reaction will be mixed. Because on the one hand, in the systems and processes, he had brought in a lot of uh, transparency in terms of communication uh, as far as the Bank of India concerned. He has changed a lot of ways. He has started analysts conference. He has started meeting even journalists um, as a stakeholder before every monetary policy uh, review takes place and all. But when it comes to uh, monetary policy per se, I would... Uh, think that there are certain things uh, which um, he could have approached in a different way. In fact, in his last public appearance, he had admitted that uh, perhaps that was a mistake. He could have been more aggressive and faster and stronger when raising rates. Mm. So that is one. Um, his, he, he, he did not tackle inflation, even though he spoke about a lot, but he did not tackle inflation aggressively. For far too long, he possibly followed an um, accommodatory monetary policy, allowed, reserve, uh, allowed inflation to be higher than even 10-year bond yield, mm -hmm. uh, and of course, uh, more than uh, interest rates. So that's one criticism against him. Second, of course, uh, he could have, in 2009 and 10, when rupee actually appreciated, he could have taken the opportunity build up to buy dollars and build yeah. up reserves. Now, um, his idea is, of course, I, I think, uh, this, this uh, why should I deviate from Reserve Bank of India policy? Because RBI's policy is, you enter the market, whether to buy dollar or to sell dollar, to only rein in the volatil volatility. But uh, you don't do this mm. uh, no, for your reserve building. So that's the stated policy, but you know, you are the governor, uh, you can change the policy, he has not done that. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the last few months, I think since May, uh, the way he tackled the rupee depreciation, mm -hmm. that was much, um, you know, it, he could have done it in a much, much different way. I mm -hmm. think it was half-hearted, there was a lot of confusion. I put it uh, other way, had he left in May, mm -hmm. 
uh, his legacy would have been very different mm. than at this point of time. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, but just one uh, point, uh, you made these two points about uh, not tightening policy fast enough and mm. not buying dollars. Now, mm. wouldn't an appreciating rupee in a way be akin to policy tightening that if he had bought dollars, he would have actually have loosened monetary policy further at that point of time? Well, I, 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 you know, the, in Indian context, there are uh, you don't uh, you, you don't have a very linear monetary policy. Mm -hmm. You have many tools in your uh, in your pocket in your bag, and you use them. So, in in a different in a, uh, uh, depending on the context. So, I don't think even even at hindsight or retrospect, we can say that this or that. Mm -hmm. It could have been done. In, in fact, during the Reddy regime, it happened. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, it was uh, it was a compelling factor as far as Reddy was concerned. He was compelled to buy dollars, yeah. you know, and then again um, float uh, a rupee bond to sterilize Stabilize. the rupee from the yeah. thing. And all. So that was a different context. But yes, of course, in hindsight, but there is a possibility that he could have uh, yeah. augmented our reserves. But the, as I said, the the very critical factor to judge him and which will go against him is the last few months. The way Reserve Bank of India approached the entire rupee depreciation, mm -hmm. it was it, it lacked confidence, yeah. uh, it lacked conviction, and possibly uh, um, I have not seen this in many years, of course, in the recent past at least, that market was losing confidence in Reserve Bank of India. So that's a, that's not a very positive thing. Uh, that's but mm -hmm. as they say, you know, in the governor, you should judge him um, after a cycle, yeah. not immediately when Indeed. he leaves. Indeed, because mm. uh, you know. Uh, Greenspan was when he stepped down had this fantastic reputation and it's Correct. more or less down in the dumps now. Uh, Reddy, you know, was not very popular, but today he is now seen as one of India's best central bank governors. But coming back to Subha Rao, uh, in that last speech of his, one of the sort of defenses he uh, put forward in, in his own uh, case is that the time at which he was, uh, you know, wondering whether to raise po uh, policy rates steeply or not was a time of great global uncertainty. And actually, if you look at these five years, in a way, he's had a very volatile global environment. So, do you buy this argument that perhaps the RBI, uh, because of the global environment, uh, could have been slightly more cautious in increasing interest rates? Because you know, there was a time when you know, Greece blew, almost blew up, there was the pigs crisis, you know, Spain, etc. were in trouble. Uh, what is your assessment that the, between this domestic and global factors? So, I put it the other way. I, I would think that Subaru is singularly un, uh, unlucky. Mm -hmm. You know, during Jalan's regime, uh, he started when the, when, the, uh, when the East Asian crisis, currency crisis. But the rest of his, that's the first six months, you know, he, he spent tackling that. But the rest of it was relatively smooth. Mm -hmm. uh, during uh, Dr. Reddy regime, it was relatively low inflation and high growth. Uh, so, and he, he had actually the problem of plenty, uh, you know, there was so much of uh, flow, foreign, foreign uh, money flow, mm -hmm. uh, he had to float a bond to sterilize the rupee, first mm -hmm. you buy the rupee. First you buy um, dollar and then you sterilize rupee. Um, but in Rubba Rao regime, you see, he started uh, when this just about uh, 10 days before the, before the Lehman crisis happened and all. So first six months to one year, it was, there was no independent monetary policy actually. It was a very close-knit, coordinated effort between the government and Reserve Bank of India where fiscal and monetary policies worked hand in hand. Mm -hmm. you know, so that way you cannot judge actually how much to, to what extent he is responsible for the decisions are taken and to what extent he is being influenced by the government because mm -hmm. when the time is not uh, uh, right, I mean time is not very positive, uh, you, you worked in close coordination. And then by the time you know he, he was on his own on coming to, uh, coming, uh, to his own self, inflation started because of the loose mm -hmm. fiscal and monetary policy inflation started inching up. And he took three years to fight that inflation. Mm -hmm. And when he actually thought that he bottled the inflation genie, you find the rupee thing yeah. coming up and all. And when he's leaving, he's about 10, 15, 10 days away from uh, the, another very critical Ford me Fed meeting on the taper. You know, whether the Fed will mm -hmm. reverse his now uh, the bond buying program. Mm -hmm. So it's a very tumultuous time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, one thing he did say in a very, uh, um, of course, um, in his own um, humorous way, 
that when would the eurozone and the us crisis come to an end he said that uh, when i would uh, lay down my office mm. now right now yes uh, when he is laying down an office i think he, you both europe and us is in a much better shape but indian domestic problem is yeah. far far you know um, i would say critical then even when he took over because when he took over india was one of the many countries which are fighting many nations which are fighting uh, the impact of lehman crisis and you know the global credit credit crunch so on but this is a fight india has to fight on its own this this is yeah of course brazil is affected indonesia is affected but largely it is not the external yes it is the trigger is the external circumstances uh, but uh, it is it is more our, our doing or undoing internal thing you no know? so that way even the next governor agaram rajan also coming um, in at a very very difficult time so kamal one last question you know uh, if you were to mark him 10 out of out of 10 marks what would you give him i would uh, <laughs> i would i would refrain from doing so because um, as i said you know as a governor i think you should you should have to take a uh, you have to step back and take a look at okay. it after so it's too early to judge after a cycle it 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 will be unfair to to give a mark right now fair enough time. Mm. so that was tamal mm. uh, assessing the subara years at the reserve bank of india uh, what i took from this discussion is that tamal believes that he did a very good job in standing up to the finance ministry on various uh, issues which you know sort of have muddied the waters uh, about monetary policy tamal has been a little more skeptical especially uh, pointing out that subara may have been a little timid in raising interest rates after the economic recovery in 2010 and finally i think a uh, clear sense of disappointment about the way the rbi has tackled the rupee problem over the past two months so thank you tamal and uh, that's it for now on editors take do log in to www.liveman.com for further updates thank you <laughs>